Okay, guys, I think we can do this. Yes, definitely. So, um, you know, back in the, let me see, where was this? This is, okay, this is in the course announcements. And if you go back to week one here, uh, right here, welcome to module one. This welcome to module one um, video, if you jump to about, I'm just going to start that, but if you jump right to about the six minute mark, uh, right there, I start talking about the final project. So again, that if you want to review that, that is the welcome to module one, and that is the video, and jump to about six, about the six minute mark, and the remainder of that is regarding the final project. But I will definitely be more than glad to go through this. I, I think that it, it's it's important that we do this. Okay, so um, let me describe it to you like this. Okay. Let me simplify this a little bit. Okay, what is the final project asking for? It's asking for you to pick six pieces of artwork through history. Now, remember, this class started at, at, at the Industrial Revolution and went basically from arts and crafts to, well, will go to contemporary today. So that means that you can pick between those times and you pick six pieces of art that are all connected by a central theme or thesis as it were so I, i've got an exa i've got some examples for you and i'm just going to carry on from those um examples that i used in that first part and that's that video that i just showed you um, and there's also a written example right below that video regarding my thesis and the the, the objectives in the example that i gave I'll go through that again in one second. But right now, let's take a look at this. So, so what are we going to do? We're going to pick these six pieces. Okay, and this is just all the, oh, I'm just in the rubric here, guys. That's all. But I just really want each of you to go through this because this is the objectives of the assignment. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll start right here where we go, start the selections of work and how you're going to do, you know, basic, the, the, the heavy lifting for the project. Okay, so in the prompt, your introduction. Oh, your, well, let's start with your uh, exhibit perspective. Should be a polished proposed proposal for an original collection of work. Okay, specifically the, uh, the following critical elements must be addressed. Introduction, set the stage for, for your exhibit. Okay, this is, the, this is a lot of this has to do with writing. And then note B here, identify a thesis for your exhibit that addresses a significant cultural issue. Make sure your thesis is specific enough to offer a unique perspective while still being clear and concise. Now, that, what is, that's saying that you're, you, you don't have to nail a, spe a specific thesis. Like, you know, we're not, you know, it's not target shooting. You can give us a broad thesis. Let me give you my example here. Here was my thesis. Um, it, the objectification of women has historically been a recurring dialogue in art and design. Okay, that would be the main thesis. All right. Of course, the rest of the paper would go off into the reasons why and some of the re and, and some of the results because of and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'll get into that in a second. But right now, we're saying. Right here, identify a thesis for your exhibit that addresses a significant cultural issue. Make sure your thesis is specific enough to offer a unique perspective while still being clear and concise. Well, that was mine. Okay, clear and concise, but um, specific. Objectification of women's historic and a recurring dialogue in art and design. Okay, next, selected works of art. You should select quality images of the pieces of art you have selected for your exhibit. They should be of an authoritative form. Okay, of course. Um, then, of course, this all has to be, you know, um, cited. Uh, select a, a minimum of six work, works of art that all combine to the identified thesis. Okay. So, in my example, I went like this. I went my six works of art. I didn't pick them yet, but I picked six areas, or actually, I picked five five, which I'm only going to show you four, and I'll explain why that in a second. But so I've got I've got these these selections from a period of art that are, are going to fit in in so into the thesis. OK, the objectification of women. So and those basic categories are painting. Um, Picasso's nudes, lithography, art nouveau, film, 1960s beach movies and installation art, Guerrilla Girls. Okay, I'll go through those in a second, but 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 what is this saying? This is saying that I, I've selected, I'm going to select six works of art out of, 
in those categories. And I'll show you, I haven't selected them yet, but that would be the basic outline. Okay, so um, the selected works of art must represent at least three different artistic mediums discussed in a course. That's why I went painting, lithography, film. And though we didn't expressly discuss film in the course, we did. We are discussing film in the in the uh, um, uh, discussion boards, as well as some of the readings. So, so my examples fall within those parameters of the rubric. Okay. Um, uh, and then finally, at least five different design periods, including contemporary. Now, these have to be discussed in the course. Okay, so five different design periods. So in other words, you couldn't, you can't pick just five pieces from Art Nouveau um, that, that represent, in my case, the objectification of women. You have to pick five different periods of time, of style. You have to pick at least three different artistic mediums. Okay. And then you have to select six works that all contribute to the identified thesis. Again, that's six works, okay, representing at least three different artistic mediums, okay, and then with at least five different periods of, in, in styles. I've got my four representing four different mediums and four different styles, okay. So I haven't done all the work, but I'm definitely getting you well on your way here, okay. So, um, then you have the individual art commentaries, and this is where you describe. Now read this because it tells you what to do. And I'm in the final project milestone. I'm in the final project rubric right now, guys. I'm, I'm just going over the final project. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to open the, the milestone one project, uh, uh, project rubric in one second. But anyway, so, so that would be a basic. Now let, and then let me just show you an example of what I mean. All right, so here's my thesis. Objectification of women has historically been a recurring dialogue in art and design. Selected works of art and design. I've got pottery and sculpture, our Paleolithic ancestors. Then we go to the pottery and sculptures. We go to our Paleolithic uh, pottery and sculpture. And clearly, it's not very difficult to see the objectification of women here. All right, then we go... Uh, painting Picasso's nudes and we go to Picasso's nudes and we look at Picasso's nudes and it's clear that there's there's clearly objectification of women here and these are all things you're going to write about and describe why they are all connected and why they belong under the same um, umbrella the same thesis umbrella as it were then you go to uh, the, my next example would be lithography art nouveau and we go to alphonse mucha and it's not very long before you figure out that this guy was pretty much about the objectification of women and um but, i mean a lot of people think this is where the term sex cells started right here in Art Nouveau. Okay, so that one fits very neatly into my thesis. Then we have film, 1960s beach movies. So we go to take a look at some of the 1960s beach movies and what did they represent. And there certainly is a, 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 a pretty darn good amount of objectification here. Okay, and yeah, I want to get this over here too because I want you guys to see these ones. Bikini Beach, Beach Party, Beach Blanket, Bingo. Um, ghosts in the Invisible Bikini. So, you, so there's plenty of objectification right there as well. Okay, and then finally, to round that thesis out, I would go in, the, in one little, like 180, complete opposite direction and go anti-objectification by including a little bit on Gorilla Girls and how they uh, uh, contributed to the art world by protesting the objectification of women in the, the male-dominated art world, as it were as it were, this is one example of this famous, uh, uh, do women need to get naked to get into the museum, into museums? Um, you know, things like, this is just a really, really neat way to, to round out that argument right there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, the uh, um, rubric for Milestone 1, and we'll take a look at that real quick. Okay, so right here... I've got the, the milestone one guidelines and rubric, and that's what's due this week. So overview, of this is a uh, um, in this final project, this is the overview of the final project, even though it's the milestone one guidelines and rubric. But let's go over to here where in prompt, uh, the prompt in module three, you will submit your thesis and exhibit um, explanation to your instructor for approval. Uh, how I would do that like this. I would just write up the thesis. Uh, uh, I would write up, not a formal thesis statement, but I would just write up your thesis like mine 
uh, I would just write this up, thesis, the objectification of women. Then I would give a paragraph on what I mean with that thesis, okay? Then, uh, so you'll submit your thesis and exhibit explanation. So you'll, you'll explain that, give a written paragraph or so on that. And then remember the topic you choose must allow you to connect several works of art and design an um, object by tracing a particular time and concept in those examples. So then, it, and then the reason it says that is because it's going to go on right now and say you must include three of the images you plan on to use for your final project for full identification citations of each image. So what is that going to that saying? That's saying that in my example before, um, I would actually go in here and I would actually pick one of Picasso's nudes. Okay, and I would include that for... Um, Actually, that is not a Picasso nude. Okay, here we go. Let's go in and pick one of Picasso's nudes. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's go in and pick one of uh, Picasso's nudes. And and let's just write about, uh, um, okay, how is this contributing to this objectification of women? All right, and then... Um, you would pick another, so another, so you would go to lithography, art, new voice. So you would go and you would actually pick a, a, an actual specific piece from the art nouveau period, whether it's Alphonse Mucha or somebody else. Uh, you would pick a piece that you feel is, is, is contributing to the thesis, in this case, the objectification of women. So any one of these will be just fine. And you would include that, and then you would include the, the written uh, um, requirements along with that. And don't forget, these would be the written requirements for the final project. But for the milestone, um, your written re objectives are, are you're just describing what you're going to be doing here in Module 1. So you'll submit your thesis and exhibit explanations. And then um, um, three pieces. Okay, so that is where I'm going to leave it, guys. And I hope that helped. Remember, go back to Week 1, uh, welcome, and that video. Jump in there at the six-minute mark. Watch that and then watch this. If, you, if you're watching this first, jump over there, watch that, and then uh, you'll see. So they'll both help you out. So I hope this helps. If not, let me know, and I will see what I can do further. All right? Thanks, guys.